I don't know about you, but I failed miserably when I first tried price action trading. I always felt like the market was against me or I was making too many mistakes and nothing ever seemed to work. But luckily, after a few years of practicing, after correcting all of those mistakes and after a lot of time actually trading in real markets, I developed a price action trading process that took price action trading from something that I was constantly losing money in to one of the most profitable strategies that I currently have today. So in this video, what I wanna do is tell you the beginner mistakes I was making, how I fixed those mistakes, and explain to you my entire price action trading process in the hopes that it helps you master price action trading as well. So if that sounds good, go ahead and click that like button for me, go ahead and subscribe if you're new, click the notification bell, and I'll see you on the other side of the intro and disclaimer. First, we're gonna talk about the mistakes that I was making and how I fixed them. And I'll go through this rather quickly. I know a lot of you just enjoy looking at charts and learning strategies. There's nothing wrong with that, but I promise if you stick around for these three mistakes and how I fix them, your chances of success with the strategy I'll be teaching later in the video will be much higher. So check this out. Mistake number one is I had improper expectations. For some reason, I thought price action trading was going to be some kind of holy grail that helped me to win every trade that I placed. If I just analyzed the market enough and made the right decisions every time, then I would win every single trade. And that's just what price action trading would do. But unfortunately, this goes beyond just price action. That doesn't exist in trading at all. Every trading strategy that you trade, whether it be based on indicators, price action, anything else, moon cycles, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're trading based on is going to have losses and wins and you need to have the discipline and trading psychology to make it through that. The second mistake I was making, as I said, we'll go through these rather quickly, is I had terrible risk management at the time. So even though I was trading something that may have been a winning strategy, I would lose so much over the course of, let's say, two or three losing trades in a row that I would just completely give up on that trading strategy. So then I would switch the price action tactics that I was using and just constantly switching like that is going to lead to failure over a long period of time. And that's exactly what happened. And the third mistake I was making is more to do with price action itself. I was trying to combine everything. And I mean everything in price action. At one time, I was trying to combine trend lines, then horizontal support and resistance along with things like quarter points and even handle numbers. And on top of that, every candlestick pattern that I knew of and every chart pattern that I knew of and combining all of these things just led to a lot of confusion and a lot of really bad trading opportunities. What I mean by that is not the highest likelihood. I didn't have the highest likelihood of success with some of these factors. So dialing that back and starting to understand and implement only finding the highest value areas of structure and only using the highest value chart candlestick patterns for things like entries really helped me to start making some serious money from my price action trades. So those are the top three mistakes I was making and how I fixed them. Now let's go ahead and dive into this full price action trading process. So the first trade we're going to look at so I can explain this strategy on some real charts is a trade I personally took and sent out to all the members of the TTC Forex University here on the Euro Pound that caught a measly 550 pips. Now, it's not like this strategy always catches huge winners, but it does put us in positions to catch big winners sometimes, which is one of the biggest parts of trading is catching these big winners when you can. And to speak on that a little more before we dive into all of the rules of this strategy, whenever I first started trading and using price action, like I said, I had wrong expectations. I thought every time I pressed the buy or sell button, I was supposed to be able to win. I should have done more analysis. I should be able to pick perfect trades every time, but that's not the reality of trading with any strategy along with price action itself. The reality of it as traders, this is what we really need to do. We don't need to be right all the time and it's impossible for that to happen. What we're trying to do is create a consistent way of trading that gives us something called an edge. Let's do an example of that. That would be like having a 60% chance to win with a 1.4 to one reward to risk ratio, meaning you win $1.40 every time you lose a dollar. 1.4 to one reward to risk ratio with a 60% chance to win would be a solid edge to have over the market. Let me explain what I mean by that. If we take 100 trades, 60 of those are wins at a 1.4 to one, 
reward to risk ratio and we lose the other 40 trades because 40 were losses, then we would have 44 R. If we risk, let's say 2% of our account value, that means out of every 100 trades, we would roughly make about 88%. So our job as price action traders and traders in general is not to try to be right every single time. It's to create a consistent way to get this edge and then exploit that every single time that our strategy that provides us with an edge happens. That's how you become consistently profitable. So the faster you can, <clears throat> excuse me, I have completely lost my voice. The faster you can get out of the mindset of I have to be right every time and the faster you can really accept the fact that we're just exploiting an edge, we're gonna be wrong and right, but as long as we continuously trade and do in fact have an edge using a strategy like I'm gonna show you right now, then that's when you can actually become consistently profitable over that long span of time. So now that I broke that down, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the strategy itself. So this specific strategy combines three very simple price action tactics, which are a major level of structure combined with the direction of the trend, combined with either a candlestick pattern or a chart pattern. For chart patterns, the only ones that I use are double tops and bottoms and head and shoulder pattern along with inverse head and shoulder pattern. I have videos for those on the channel that explain the like specific rules I use. Feel free to check those out if you would like to. But in the case of the Euro pound trade, what we saw is prices heading higher, breaking above a major resistance looking left and our more minor resistance in this uptrend that the Euro pound was already going on. So as we continue pushing higher, breaking into new highs, I asked myself, what was the latest level of resistance that was broken? To make this easier, I'll put on market replay. At this point, where price is right now, what's the latest level of resistance that was broken? This level here. I then draw a box or a line on the chart and ask myself, was that a level that was tested multiple times? If I look left, this level was in fact tested multiple times, meaning that it's what I call an OTZ, which stands for optimal trading zone. So as I said earlier, I used to combine like everything you could think of to try to find perfect areas to enter the market. But what I realized throughout gaining some experience is one of the best ways to trade is by using a horizontal level of support or resistance that's just been tested multiple times. That tends to be a pretty nice area that prices use for support or resistance. So I try to exploit that every time I can by combining the trend of this market, which we can tell is up, right? We have higher lows continuously. We have higher highs continuously. If that's the case, we're in an uptrend. So I know I'm looking for buy trades. If we've just broken above a level of resistance that's been tested multiple times, then I know I have a very valuable area of structure that I can use for a possible trade. My next step after this is super simple. I drop down to the four hour or one hour charts and I wait for things like chart patterns, like a double bottom or head and shoulder pattern or inverse head and shoulder pattern on this time frame. And it may be a little difficult to see here on the four hour, I believe we took this trade on the one hour chart, but we have a left shoulder here, the head of this head and shoulders pattern and a right shoulder right here. This guy's smiling because it made us a lot of money. That's what we have here on the chart. And afterwards, prices of the Euro pound took off. What I do is technically trade in a very consistent way that every now and then puts me in a position to get a massive trade that's like a six to one reward to risk ratio. Now, something really important that I want you to understand is in between these big wins of like six to one, seven to one, 10 to one, the biggest trade I've had this year was a 21 to one reward to risk ratio. In between these, I have a ton of one to one winners, 1.2 to one losses are in there all the time as well. So these are just trades that I use price action in order to take advantage of these big moves by consistently placing trades in the same exact way. And eventually every now and then catching major movers like this Euro pound trade. That is one of my favorite ways to use price action. What I want to do right now to help you grasp this strategy better and to let you know what I'm looking at in the future here in the Forex market is I'm going to take you through the top five major pairs and share with you my analysis, breaking those pairs down the same exact way I did here on the Euro pound. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the Euro dollar. We'll look at the top five major pairs and I always start this type of analysis out on the daily chart. Personally, I like entering trades on the four hour or the one hour chart. So my analysis starts on the daily. I look for trend and these major valuable areas of structure on this chart here on the daily here on the Euro dollar. Literally the same situation as the Euro pound flipped upside down because now we're looking for possible short trades. 
Why are we looking for short trades? Well, if we look at the market here, we have prices coming down, making a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. We're trying to capture the next lower high before that lower low with this strategy. We're looking at the most likely area for that to happen, which happens to be the latest level of support that was broken, especially if that level has been tested multiple times. That level on the euro dollar happens to be between 0.9996 and 0.9890. So in this zone throughout this week coming up, I will be looking for possible short trades in this area. How do you think I'll be doing that? Using either double tops or head and shoulder patterns. Just looking for those simple chart patterns on lower time frames in these areas to see if I can capture this trend continuation here on the euro dollar. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the pound dollar. Here on the pound dollar, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this analysis with you. Where's the latest level of structure that was broken? Should be easy to point out because I literally just pointed it out. And if you couldn't tell this was a downtrend, time to go back to the drawing board, time to go learn. But this obviously a downtrend. We have our latest level of structure looking left right here. And if we scroll the chart left, let's see if that level was tested multiple times. Well, we have to go left pretty far, but this was actually a major level of structure support as well looking left. So now what we have is a level of structure that was just broken and that has been tested multiple times. We also have prices in a downtrend here on the pound dollar. So if we get this pullback continuing up to the area between 1.1508 and 1.1407. I'll be looking for possible sell trades here in this area using the chart patterns I've discussed throughout this video. Let's take another look at another pair on the dollar yen. On the dollar yen, it should already be pretty obvious. I'm looking at the latest level of resistance. Prices broke. We did this big move up, little pullback, big move up again. Now I'm waiting on a pullback that comes down between 139.40 and 137.86. If I can get a pullback to this area, 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 that will be great. I'll be looking in this area for possible buy trades using the chart patterns we've discussed throughout this video. Next up, we're looking at the dollar Swiss. Here on the dollar Swiss, we have prices pushing higher. And as we push higher, what I'll be waiting for is, I'm gonna wait for a break of this level, obviously, so we can see that we're actually in an uptrend with all these higher lows and higher highs. And something cool to mention right now also that I think will be helpful, I don't look for trades right here. And I know you're, you're probably like, man, you're trading a daily chart. Isn't it going to take forever to prices for prices to do this? Maybe. And that's fine. I'm patient enough to wait. And I've chose for swing trading, trading on higher time frames, to be the way that I trade. I'm patient enough to wait for price to push higher. Right now, there's no real way that I've ever found in price action trading to have an edge when price is just pushed up push down and is the, in the middle of like maybe pushing up again. And the reason I say this is because I get questions all the time from students and from people that watch this on YouTube alike that ask me, Stephen, prices are right here. What What's the more likely scenario? Are we going down or going up? I have no idea. There's no way to really gauge that in this case. I've never found a way to make an accurate position of that. But, excuse me again, if prices do in fact push up, break above this level, that's been tested multiple times, then pull back to it. Now I have a very valuable level of structure and prices have proven to be in an uptrend. Now I'm prepared for this situation and I can say with a high degree of accuracy from my own experience that we have a much higher likelihood of continuing higher from this zone than going lower. Doesn't always happen, but it's a high degree of accuracy compared to just random trades like this. So here on the dollar Swiss, I'll be waiting for prices to push up, go above this area. I will then declare that we are in an uptrend. And if we get a pullback to this area between 1.0046 and 0 0.9995, I'll be looking in that area for possible double bottoms or uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. Next up, the final pair we're going to take a look at is the Aussie dollar. On the Aussie dollar, we're pushing lower here. We have this level right here. We actually had a great trade on the Aussie dollar as well that I sent out at the same time I sent out the Euro pound trade. But looking forward here on the Aussie dollar, what I'm waiting to see is if we can get a pullback all the way up here to this zone between 0 0.6758 and 0 
nine eight this is our major area our high value level of structure here on the aussie dollar i'll be waiting for prices to get there then provide me with some some type of trading opportunity to the downside like a double top or a head and shoulders pattern in this area so that's my analysis on the top five major pairs and my full price action trading process if you enjoyed that then you would very likely enjoy and benefit from joining us in the ttc forex university where we have an entire training course going over all the different strategies that i use along with full training courses going over things like risk management and trading psychology so if those are things that you've been struggling with that might be a good idea it's completely organized and step by step shows you the entire process i took to go from a complete beginner losing money to someone that's now a consistently profitable trader Along with that, you also receive priority coaching support, which means any questions that you have, you can ask me directly and I'll be the one responding to those questions if you're having any trouble in your trading in general or with the course. And on top of all of that, you also will be receiving three to five email analysis per week, just like the one on the Euro Pound. They very rarely work out that well and there are losses just as with any other trading strategy and any other trader that you see, I lose some trades as well. So don't expect every trade to be like the Euro pound, but you will be receiving that email analysis three to five times per week from me and you'll get the pro trader report and best setups of the week video every single monday pointing out the levels of structure i'm looking at for my price action trades so if you want all that in a big bundle that also comes with a 100 risk-free guarantee if you're unsatisfied for any reason all you gotta do is let us know and i have my support staff refund you asap then all you gotta do is click the first link in the description or go to www.ttcfxuniversity Hope to see you inside. If not, that's totally fine too. Just be sure you're subscribed here if you enjoy content about Forex trading and I'll talk to you in the next video. See you soon.